So I think what's important when you come to Moscow Road Food Street, you will find the kebabs everywhere, you'll find the pathar ka gosh everywhere. But I think what's interesting is then perhaps to go to these places that have been around for a while yeah. and perhaps inquire they have something different. different. The meat certainly looks very juicy. I love the smoky flavors that are wafting towards me. What I love about this is the fact that this roti is burdened with that egg and mutton and onion mix. And the outside is quite crispy, it's quite scrumptious. What is it? It's cut off the bottom. 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 I think nothing seals the deal like Suleimani. I'm with my friend Chef Fasi Ulla. Chicken. 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 That is butter. butter. Very smoky. Tissue Very juicy. I think the coating is only of the chicken and the cheese is just oozing out. This is extremely tasty. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, it's great meeting you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, can we have a picture? Yeah, sure. We've spent maybe the last couple of hours here. Yeah, yeah. Places yes. like the Chichabas Taj, everybody knows. So, but the point is that to find those jewels, like the yeah. Sultan or like the Marag. Marag, yes, yes, yes. That is a challenge. That is a challenge. That is a challenge because most of it is probably 70% of them are doing the same thing. And right. you don't know how to pick and choose and what to find the best. So, I think what's important when you come to Moscow Road Food Street, you'll find the kebabs everywhere, you'll find the pathar ka gosh everywhere. But I think what's interesting is then perhaps to go to these places that have been around for a while yeah. and perhaps inquire they have something different. different. Yes, like yes, for example yes. that marak that I tasted today, yes, if you would have just gone in there, looked at the halim which yeah, was right there, looked at the seek kebab, you would have never, never gone, gone ventured there. out to that. Very true. Very true. I think I that's think, what... I think you have to speak, you have to see what people are eating around, get a little bit of a, you know, get a knowledge build before you come and try these places. Because yeah, until unless you won't find that kind of place. Correct. Right. I think on that note, let's go to yes. Charmin our kebab paradise. We mutton chops, chicken chicken, peri chops, peri peri. I think we will taste some of the chops. Looks Ek very good. Or seek uh, ek salia lagana. Ek salia. ये रो होटल आल्सो इडली और वड़े के वास्ते भी फेमस है ना आपका होटल इडली वड़े के साथ क्या चटनी सांबर सांबर उसके साथ कीमा है मजा आएगा यार कीमा नहीं देते उसके साथ but that meat certainly looks very juicy. I love the smoky flavors that are wafting towards me. I think today when I go home I think I should not wash this kurta. I should just keep it there because I'm going to smell the aromas, the smoky aromas of Moscow for a while. I think uh, we have the owner of uh, this one. Please, please. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. How are you? What's your name, kya, sir? Khalid Ahmad Sharif. Khalid Ahmad Sharif. Yes, yes, yes. Khalid Bhai, sir, tell us what you have made in Ramzan. What is special in this one? There is another variety added to this. Chicken chops. This is one of the Caribbean chops. But tell me, I want to ask you one thing. Sure, sure. So, I'm seeing that is a trend now. Yes. That the classic and traditional is that. But I'm listening to the name of the name in all places. Why is it like that? People like it. You want a different name, right? That's it. But the name of the name will be the name of the name. And so some of these dishes are classics. They're there throughout the year. Yes, you will get it. Yes, you will get it. Wonderful. How many years have you been here? We are the first one to start in this whole life. Oh, really? My dad has almost 35 years of experience in this. So if I come during non-Ramzan, what will I get to taste? I should come someday and do a meal. Everything. वो रमजान में थोड़ा स्केल में करते हैं हम। अदरवाइज़ वे हैविंग रेस्टोरेंट आल्सो, डाइनिंग आल्सो इस दर। 
तो ये पूरा आइटम मिलेंगे आप सबसे टॉप सेलिंग क्या है आपके इधर हाइएस्ट सेलिंग हाइएस्ट सेलिंग में अंडा खेमा रोटी अंडा खेमा मटन में एंड देन मटन चॉप्स एंड मटन सीक मटन सीक जी व्हाट आई लाइक हियर इन योर मटन सीक इज उसमें रंग नहीं है जी 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 ऑल नेचुरल कलर्स वी डोंट यूज आर्टिफिशियल कलर्स मच इसमें भी कुछ नहीं डाला नहीं वो पेरी इसमें थोड़ा होगा शायद पेरी पेरी है एंड दिस इज येलो में है टर्मरिक अच्छा We take what colors from turmeric and what goes to color uh, that then? that is Kashmiri mirch. Ah, Kashmiri lal, tikka lal. Kashmiri lal, jee jee. The actual name for this is Kali mirchi ki sukhi phal. I mean, look at the sight here. This is a sea of humanity. All that you see is plumes of smoke rise up, and expectant faces looking down, waiting for their portion of the chop or the seek. or the fall or something else to be served so this is the kali mirch ki fall fantastic what i like is the fat It's very soft at when you eat it also gives that meat a lovely marbling i'm tasting the smokiness of the meat a bit of the character of that fat that comes through Pepper just popping out here mm. and then because it's totally powdered. I think this is delicious. So you'll get a mutton chop everywhere, but when you come to a place like Charminar, which has a legacy of doing this for over quarter of a century, they know how to treat the meat right. And I think if you have great cooking skills, I believe that the masala that you will add is inversely proportional. to the amount of time that you've spent in the business because Definitely. you want the flavor of the meat to come through huh? what happens is see you know here it is reflecting the quality of the meat also is standing out so also the meat which is a star over here the masala is not overpowering and the meat is speaking to itself totally delicious so this you serve even other times yeah 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 brought here we have to eat this very nice excellent and i think next we should move to the seek and this seek is hiding beneath that uh, what do you call it semaiya semaiya very lucky to see you personally today the pleasure is mine ma'am sorry my hands are i can do a fist bump with you thank you sir sir can we take yeah sure come i think let's now get to that seek oh i love the manner in which the juices are almost spilling out of that seek You're tasting a bit of the spicing, led by the coriander, of course. Ali chili or garam masala is my best. Not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garam masala is uh, completely, you know, crushed and that. Yeah, half se kurte ho. Yeah, yeah. Haan, half se hi hota hai. Because dhania aur hamara green chili ko chop karke jaate hain. Isme hath lal mein nahi jaati, sirf green mein jaati hai. Lekin jo kima jo hand pounded hai. Haan, hand pounded hai. Isme fat kitna jata hoga? Fat is uh, 80 and uh, 20%. So 20% only fat. Fat. Wonderful. I think next we'll taste it with some of that uh, idiyapam or the semia. I think the onions are a great palate cleanser. Oh, this is delicious. Very good. I think the idiyapam also serves well to capture some of those juices which have oozed out from that kebab onto that plate. The best part of the meats, what they have cooked, I liked is very subtly priced and very prime cuts of meats have been done. Yeah, yeah. One piece for the road. I think this is a good seek kebab, and I also love the slight dardarapan of the meat because the meat is hand minced, and therefore that texture also helps hold on to the flavors. Whether it's the flavor of that masala, the spicing that goes in, and also a bit of the fat. Wonderful. Also, you, the main technique when you're using this is the fat is. How it gets the smoky flavor because the fat is rendering and falling onto the coal. This and that, is, that comes up and ignites, gives a nice flavor to the meat. Wonderful. Paida roti ora yaha pe. What do you call this yah? Anda khayma roti. Anda khayma roti. In this stall is very famous for this mutton anda roti. Yes. Anda roti is a very common. And it is probably one of the oldest which came into the market. इसके साथ क्या चटनी जाते हो? हाँ वो Chinese sauce जाता है उसके साथ. Chinese sauce. हाँ. 
I've been seeing so many people, and what I see in their eyes is so so much of genuinity when they speak to you and you know when they address you. I think only with food it can have its own. That's right. That's what I tell people. I say you know, log is khane se pyar karte hain, and because I present that food to them. थोड़ा सा वो प्यार जो इस पे है वो मेरे साथ बढ़ जाता है इट्स अ फूड एंड आई थिंक ऑन दैट नोट वी शुड ट्राई द बैदर रोटी ट्राई द अंडा रोटी ऐसे अंडा रोटी अंडा कीमा रोटी इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म इट अंडा रोटी अंडा रोटी और ये बनता है मैदे का मैदे का इट्स वेरी वेरी हॉट आई थिंक वो थोड़ा कूल होने यू कैन टू इवन लिफ्ट इट इट्स एज हॉट एज दैट सो दिस बेसिकली इज सम मटन मिन्स सर दे सम एग्स इन दैट यस एंड ऑनियंस टुगेदर व्हाट दे डू इज बेसिकली दे लेयर द ब्रेड and ah. they put the masala on it and they add cold in the eggs in this like a mixture liquid ah. in it and they fold it so the egg gets cooked within the steam within the steam so and now the egg is already mixed in that masala the raw egg and that's why it holds everything together so is that raw egg yes but the time is fully fully cooked this is basically like an omelet mix yes i can still see some of the steam rise from that baida roti just begin to it very hot extremely hot but there is a certain uh, wicked pleasure yeah. to eat food it. that's either very hot <laughs> or extremely spicy you know it's going to hurt you it's going to bite back yeah definitely but you can't resist that bite you can't resist that bite what i love about this is the fact that this roti is burdened with that egg and mutton and onion mix and the outside it's quite crispy it's quite scrumptious Generally, what they do is it's a basically a rumali roti, and it, that's why it is partially cooked and again fried in the oil. It gets a very crisp and uh, flaky texture. Flaky texture, that's right. This also reminds me of the Malaysian martabak. Yeah, same thing. Yes, yes. martabak also they call. This must come here. They ask for martabak. For martabak. On that note. There are some dishes that basically don't just touch your taste buds; they comfort your soul. Correct. Correct. जो बोलते हैं comfort food. I think it's foods like these, right? Definitely. You basically walk the street. You've tasted a few kebabs here and there. Now you want to settle down with something filling, right? Yes. Life में वही होता है ना? You basically go around. You try a few things. End में आपको settle होना है. Settle होना है बराबर. You settle with a dish that's comforting. How much is a uh, By the road, one fifty rupees. And I think a lot of the food that you do out here is sharing food, right? Yeah. So people yeah. will basically come here. This by the roti. If you've you tasted three or four things, this is for four so people. Four, four. Yeah. yeah. Easily you can't if you eat one full thing, you can't eat That's it. That's right. Yes. It's hot. My mouth is burning inside. But this is also a play on textures. So you've got that crisp crunch of that uh, roti. And then you got that onion moist onion-y crunch, that juicy crunch of the onion inside. Some of that roti is almost as crispy as a wafer. All the dishes that I've tasted at Charminar Kebab Paradise, the black pepper mutton chops, that sea kebab with this idli appam and this baida roti. Call it the baida roti. Call it the anda anda kima roti. Anda kima roti, or call it the martha bak. Well, all roads lead home, home of scrumptious, comforting deliciousness. Here at Charminar Paradise. So these are all your iftiar items. Yeah. Sir, we're having anar kalis. Ye na leg pieces hai pure. In that we're having varieties. So this is what colored with what? Uh, Beetroot. Beetroot. Yeah. All Wonderful. So you don't use artificial no, colors. No. But what about this right here? Uh, Kashmiri lal. Kashmiri lal. Uh, so uh, that is lemon sauce like lemon anar kali. Hinduri uh. sticks Haryali me. Then again uh, Afghani pepper uh, uh, sauce like Malai sauce like. So this is the sort of dishes that people before breaking their fast they yes. come here and they pick yes, up from they, you. They do. They do. Sir. Wonderful. Well, I think we are quite stuffed with the chops and with the uh, few things that we've tasted before, and also the baida roti. And this is Ramzan ke time. Hai. Uh, we get it throughout the year also. Throughout the year also. Yeah. So all this is available. All this is available. Wonderful. No, no, no. You take it. No question. No question. Please. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's 
चाप्स ट्राई मारी ब्लैक पेपर चाप सी कूड़ा चला सूपर पैदा रोटी ट्राई मारी पहले समोसा खाएंगे हाँ और ये हरीरा पे समोसा most sought after dish during ramzan i think this is the only dish which sells in lakhs and every person at least during his 30 days of fast at least has 25 samosas in a year so i think typically people break the fast with a date yeah and then i think the samosa is a standard on every if they are this is called a patti samosa correct okay which is a pre cooked uh, roti okay like a pancake can i can say which is uh, roasted on a tawa and filled and the onions are raw and little bit of masala and seasonings in there this was the first dish which came from outside into the dastarkhan of ufta it was a samosa and also so, i guess it's a very easy dish to take yeah, away to yeah, buy and then take home yeah take home and also it is very very cost efficient in terms of you know when so samosa ka kitna hai ek samosa 10 rupees 12 rupees onion samosa yeah. mutton ka 12 rupees chhota hai wo thoda ha wo chhota aur chicken chicken 15 chicken zyada hai क्या अच्छा लगा इसमें समटाइम्स यू ब्रेक इन टू समोसा वो तेल बहुत आता है इसमें नहीं है वेरी लाइट हल्के से है वो तेल जो है Other spicy is very very delicate. The onions are almost jammy in yeah. their flavors. It's slowly caramelized because it's cooking there for a long time. Mm. And if you see, it is it's very light. It's a samosa where the onions are what dominate. It's basically the sweetness of the onions. There's a bit of the spicing that you're tasting. A bit of a flavor hit that comes from the coriander, coriander from the curry leaf. I'm also tasting somewhere in there a delicate whisper of the mint on my palate. I'm biting into that uh, chironji right away. So this has basically almond, coconut, Hello. coconut also along with it, and it's then simmered with milk. I think something hot like this also helps wash away some of the oil. Uh, yeah, you've tasted a lot of meat along the way, culminating. Our last stop was at Charminar, where we also had that very crisp, of course, but quite uh, indulgent oil-wise baida yeah. roti. So I think when you have something hot, whether it's a harira or you have something like the the sulemani, yes. it just helps wash, cleanse some of that fat. I think uh, this is tasty, no doubt. But I still want to close things before the dessert with a sulemani. So will you join me? We'll do Definitely. one by two. I think nothing seals the deal like Sulaimani. The final closure. Ah, the final closure. But like they say, meethe me kya hai? That question still has to be asked. So well, we said we had to end things on a sweet note. I think we're feeling a little lazy now, so we just went to Savera and we had the harira and the chai, the Sulaimani chai, along with the onion samosa. So we said, "Meethe me kyu choja?" And then we looked around. We saw Chaminar is right here. So I think right now it's our laziness yes. that's compelling us to make a stop here. And there's a fair bit that's happening. Kya kya hai? Firni hai? Kya hai? Kaan hazar firni hai? Double kamita hai? Caramel pudding hai? Sabse famous kya? Ye kya hai? Naya kashmiri jamun. Ye kya hai? Ye kya hai? Malwa. इसमें क्या है खोवा है हाँ खोवा बादम को कट करके खोवा डाल के ये ये है ये बार का हिट है तो जामुन में भी खोवा है और ऊपर से भी खोवा डाला ऊपर से भी खोवा डाला हुआ है इट्स इंस्पायर्ड बाय बाई चमचम चमचम चंपा चंपा करेक्ट तो चमचम वो बेस हो गया तो उसके 
दैट बिकम द चंपा कली क्रॉस ऑफ जामुन चमचम तो इसमें खोआ मैदा कितना है आपके जामुन में अभी रमजान टाइम में क्या होता है हम सेवेंटी थर्टी कर दे तो सेवेंटी मैदा सेवेंटी मैदा स्वीटनेस इन द गुलाब जामुन बैलेंस इज स्वीटनेस ऑफ दट खोवा एज वेल What I like also is the contrast of textures. The gulab jamun is smooth, but the khowa has a bit of dhadhara pan. There's a bit of graininess that you're tasting in that. Correct. It's not smooth. That also adds a lot of texture right. to the jamun. I think a good dish is all about nuances in terms of flavors and also textures. That's what you look for. Yeah. Also, it is you have a fried jamun, you have the khowa and bean plus the chashni. Everything three also a sweet. But the trick is everything comes along so well and it's not too over sweet. I think on that note we should. Uh, Make tracks for the Adam Halwa. इसमें turmeric डालते हो? नहीं नहीं इसमें नहीं डालते. केसर पड़ता है. केसर भी बहुत नहीं देता. थोड़ा रंग तो पड़ेगा इसमें. हाँ तो क्यों केसर में इतना नहीं मिलेगा आपको रंग. ये भी डाल दी. सूजी भी डाल दी. तेरा आलू का. थोड़ी सूजी भी आती. You also use some uh, essential extracts in that. Yes, it's a little bit more. Badam essence. Badam essence will come. Yeah, I can taste a bit yeah, of that then, in that. Uh, also, it's not a badam halwa that is very rich like a traditional yeah, badam halwa. Yeah. Uh, Isme, I think there is, like he said, is a combination of the semolina yeah. and the badam. So I think it's also lighter. Lighter. How much is this? This is sixty. Uh, so you also have to balance cost. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you only have, have badam in yeah, this, and it'll be more, more of it will become very heavy, no? Yeah. Between the two, my pick. Certainly is that jamun, huh? Yeah, definitely the jamun. So it's basically a coloured fried pastry. Pastry. Which is fried. Then, uh, chashni. Sugar sugar. Varki, usme ek ho ek varak ka ek tikka dal diya. Ah. <laughs> Nee, also <laughs> <laughs> varak also means the layers. The layers. Correct. Those so varak yeah, stands for yeah. multiple things here. Multiple yeah. things. One is the layer like a mee fi. Yeah, mee fi. Yeah. yeah. And but of course, this is not a thousand layers. Not nowhere close to that. And also the varak, which is a beaten silver. थोड़ा टाइम पास वाला मिठाई है चाय के टाइम पे ज़्यादा। डीप फ्राइड डो दीन देन अलाउड टू रेस्ट इन समुगर सिर इट्स नॉट टू स्वीट बट आई इट सडनली फील्स अ लिटल रिच But I suspect when you combine it with a Sulaimani or with a chai, yeah, yeah, it balances good. things out. Wonderful. Well, I thought we were going to wrap things with the dessert at yeah. uh, Charminar. We tasted that gulab jamun with the khowa and also the the badam halwa and also the varki. And I thought that was the end of it. But then we ran into this very enthusiastic restaurant. Uh, Behind Al Mandi restaurant, and he said you got to come there and taste something. And uh, he's got something that he says is made with mulberries, and that's really what we've come here to taste. This is mulberry. What's your name? Abdul Wajid sir. Abdul, Abdul Wajid, Wajid, who's the enterprising owner of uh, Al Zara Mandi. Al Zara Mandi. So he'll do Mandi Marthi. Mandi Marthi. Of course, the Mandi doesn't fit into a food walk sort of. Cook come to Tin Megala. Arabian style. Arabian style. Hi. We watch your videos and she watches your videos. Oh, thank you very much. She just wanted to say hi. Hi, what's your name? Amelia. Amelia, nice to meet you, Amelia. Thank you. See you. So he, I mean, he's very kind. He wanted us to taste the halim. The halim looks very good. Busy there. There's a lot of the brista that I see here. There's a. Is it a mutton? No, it's a hundred percent mutton. Thirty-five years uh, experience with mutton. ये तो एली मारो दिल्ली में मारो तो अभी इतने प्यार से दे रहे हैं तो खा ही लेंगे लेट्स आल्सो टेस्ट अ बिट ऑफ द हलीम इट्स ओनली अ हलीम दैट फील्स अ लिटिल स्टार्जी अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ गरम मसाला इज आल्सो वेरी स्ट्रांगली स्टैंडिंग आउट एंड आई क्लेलो हैज अ गुड मीट आई थिंक आई एम सर्टनली टेस्टिंग अ फेयर बिट ऑफ द The heft that comes from the uh, starch from the dalia agdera. Dalia, dalia. Dalia and the mutton. And the mutton. And it's boneless dalia. You don't get one bone also. Is there also some element of ghee that goes into it? So this is made year round only Ramzan time. You get uh, whole year here. Dalia. Ramzan. 
Well, he says add a bit of lemon in that. I think every halim that you taste will have different character. The first halim that I tasted, I felt was much lighter. And uh, whereas out here, I certainly find the weight, the heft of the halim a little more. Yeah. In terms of the starch, the starch, the carbohydrates, and the carb, and also the slightly more on the garam masala is a little bit hitting you right at the beginning. So this is the mulberry cream. Local language, it's called shatur. Basically, it's mulberry plant. It's a fruit. The mulberry fruit. Yeah. This you get easily mulberries. Mm. You get uh, uh, bring from Hyderabad, Delhi. Mm. This is very interesting. Very nice. So this is what at the bottom is what China grass. Which a palu dai? Yeah. No, no, no. Cream, cream seva thora. Amul cream seva. So is there some uh, gelling agent in that? Cream, eh? Cream ke saath thora confident. Ah, but this is certainly a very, nice. a, a very refreshing sort of a dessert. And uh, to be honest, I'm glad that I'm closing my food walk here with this dessert because this feels very natural, very fruity. Yes, very of course, there's a yeah, very refreshing. I think after tasting a lot of meat, after tasting many dishes which have been swimming in the loads of oil, <laughs> you want something which feels a little natural. See, mulberry is the same thing which you get from the mulberry plant, the silkworm seeds. Yeah. So let it grow, you get this mulberry. Resh me hanuman. Resh me hanuman. Silk, the silk fruit. Ah, silk fruit. Hmm. Chalaenge the. You know that the little bit of the seediness of that fruit. The coarseness of the fruit is very different. It's a year round sikhte hain. Ah, sir. Well, I have not tasted his mandi yet, but Abdul Wajid is saying you have to taste a mandi too, and he says that he's got ten floors and they're always packed out. Well, when I taste that, I will taste that. But for now, I think if you come here, definitely taste that uh, mulberry delight. Mulberry cream. Mulberry cream. Nice. Very a delicious good. dessert at that. Very good. Alim is it? Three hundred. Alim. Alim. Two fifty rupees. Alim. But the the mulberry. One sixty. So. So that's been a, a long evening. I think we began at about uh, six thirty, a little before six thirty, and it's ten fifteen. Almost four hours of people, food, and the love they showered you with today. I think that was the highlight for me. And I think that's what you know. Any food walk. Or more so, let's say a Ramzan food walk is all about, right? Definitely. Food is one aspect of it, and as you go from place to place, you will taste tasty things. But I think what's important also is the people that you're doing this with, correct, right? Correct. So totally, it was for me a very different experience altogether. First time I'm, in fact, knowing you from so many years and following you, and the genuinity of people, how much love they showered and. It was the love of food. I think the genuinity and people who have visited the places where you have been, and that walk, this walk has not only been a walk, it has been a journey with all your food following fans. Everywhere we go, we stop, we take a, at least one 20, 30 selfies, <laughs> and also the food also was very interesting part of it. I That's think right. Combination was a good part of the food walking. That's right. But I think Fasi, what's been very special apart from the dishes that we discovered and everybody else that we met. Is the fact that you've been a part of this food walk with me? I think uh, when you go to places like this, sometimes you get lost in the crowd. You see so much food happening everywhere. It really takes someone to be with you and illuminate some of those jewels, some of those rare treasures. And I think I found that very able mentor in Fasi today, as he has walked me on Mosque Road. It's really an honor to be on uh, your show and hosting with you. Basically, it's a walk of a tradition. It's a walk of a journey. Yes. Basically, it's a walk of a community together. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much, Fasi, once Thank again. You. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this food walk. Uh, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get nervous when you see the crowds out here. Take your time. Try and understand what's happening. Yeah. Let your nose guide you. See where there's a bunch of people savoring things that have stood the test of time. And I think that's important. when you set out on a food walk like That's this i hope you enjoyed this episode of gourmet on the road take care stay safe and strong thank you and happy eating the whole street is full of food thank you very thank much fasi thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you so very much, much. if you'd like to support the work that we do at food lovers tv Do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. 
You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.